This is the News 6 Morning News, getting results. It's Thursday, it's 545. That means it's time for Ask Trooper Steve. We are talking about emergency vehicles in residential areas today. Yeah, they had a pretty good question. This one um, kind of dove into some responses. Keith asked, why do I see emergency vehicles respond with lights and not with sirens in some communities? So this is two part. The graphic here shows an ambulance kind of in a residential area, and this is primarily because to kind of not draw too much attention and not to disturb a neighborhood. So fire rescue mostly will do that in the late night hours. Last thing you want to hear is a fire engine outside your house. And that is more or less because sirens are used to push traffic and to mm -hmm. warn other drivers. If mm -hmm. there's no traffic, you may not need it. Okay. The other side of it is for the law enforcement response. So say as a law enforcement officer, I'm responding to a burglary in progress or an alarm at a residence. As I get closer to that community, I'm going to disengage my siren. I'm going to keep my lights on because I don't want the bad guy knowing I'm about to show up. And that's primarily the reason we see this in neighborhoods because the siren is used as a traffic pusher, as a warning. If I'm not trying to warn the bad guy, I'm going to shut that siren off, but I'm going to keep my lights on. Okay. All right. Thank you, Trooper Steve. Yep. And if you have a question for Trooper Steve, let him know. Go to clickorlando.com slash asktroopersteve.